Hello everyone, welcome to Maven Knowledge. This is the seventh chapter on uh, parts of a speech, and uh, I'm going to talk about preposition in this video. Uh, preposition is one of the eight parts of a speech, and I have made separate videos on all the other parts of a speech like noun, pronoun, verb, adjective, adverb, conjunction, interjection, article. So you can refer to those videos. So let's see what is preposition. So preposition gives context to nouns in relation to other nouns or pronouns. Example, I'm going to Singapore. So to is preposition. India is in Asia. In is preposition. So what it is doing? Preposition is making a relationship between two nouns or pronouns. So where am I going? I'm going to Singapore. India is in Asia, so it is connecting India with Asia. That India is in Asia. So a preposition links nouns, pronouns, or phrases to other words. Most common are of, to, for, with, on, and at. It creates a relationship between all the words in a sentence. Example is the book was on the table. So it's connecting book with table that the book is or the book was on the table. The second example is I am cooking meat for the party. So it's connecting cooking meat with party. Okay. Then third one is he went for cycling despite warm weather. So it links all the words in a sentence to make it meaningful. Now we'll talk about types of preposition. So prepositions indicate direction, time, location, and abstract ideas. In case of time, it indicates when something has happened. So most common time prepositions are on, in, at, before, after, during, since, until, during, about, around, and throughout. So let's see a few of the examples. On, so time preposition on, when to use this, when we are talking about any specific days or dates. My birthday is on 1st January 1956. My birthday is on 1st January 1956 or my birthday was on 1st January 1956. So here in this example, we are talking about a specific date. So, in this case, we will use on. When we are going to use in, when we are talking about years, months, weeks, time of the day, like morning, evening. My birthday was in January. Okay, so, what's the difference? We will use on when we are talking about a specific days and dates. We will use in when we are mentioning just year, month, week, time of the day, like morning, evening. When are we going to use the third time preposition that is at certain point of time and also in case of night. My office starts at 10 a.m. So when we are talking about certain point of time, we will use at. The next one is place and direction. So place and direction preposition indicates position or movement of something or someone. So most common place prepositions are in, at, on, by, next to, beside, under, below, over, above, across, through, to, into, towards, onto, from. Examples are she walks across the road. So across is preposition. He lives in Canada. So in is preposition. I am at the metro station. At is preposition. The book is on the table. So on is preposition. He is over 20 years of age. So over is preposition. Paper is under the chair. So under is preposition. So these are the examples of place and direction preposition. And from all these examples, you can see that it talks about the position or the movement of any person or anything then its 
place and direction preposition. The last one is phrasal preposition. So it is a combination of two or more words. Most common phrasal prepositions are as opposed to, along with, apart from, because of, by means of, according to, in front of, contrary to, in spite of, on account of, in reference to, in addition to, in regard to, instead of, on top of, out of, with regard to, as long as, etc. So let's see examples. She, along with her parents, relocated to Australia. So along with is phrasal preposition. They are going out of the mall. So out of is the phrasal preposition. He was speaking in reference to banking sector. In reference. So in reference is phrasal preposition. In reference to is phrasal preposition. Apart from my, everyone was present. Apart from, that is phrasal preposition. Instead of complaining, instead of complaining, kindly focus on improving. So instead of is phrasal preposition. So that's all on uh, preposition. And uh, see you in my next video.